Hello. In this video, we are going to discuss benzene substituents that deactivate the ring, which are not halogens. Our first substituent is the carboxy group, the COOH, that we recognize from carboxylic acids. When such a substituent is added to a benzene ring, we get the compound called benzoic acid. The carboxyl group deactivates the ring relative to benzene. Therefore, it makes the benzene ring less susceptible to electrophilic aromatic substitution. It means that it takes a greater energy of activation for substitution to take place and that substitution takes place more slowly. Ring deactivators, like the carboxyl group, make the ring less susceptible to electrophilic aromatic substitution than the parent benzene compound. They reduce the reactivity at the ortho, meta, and para positions, but they reduce it the least at the meta positions. Therefore, they have the effect of directing the next substituent to the meta position. In this video, we are using electronic structure calculations on the parent structure and then the Meisenheiser complex after addition of the methyl carbocation to the ortho, meta, and or para positions and using the difference in energy between the Meisenheiser complex intermediate and the parent compound as a measure of the uh, favorability thermodynamically of the substitution. These numbers are relative to benzene, so the value you'll see in the tables is zero for benzene. When we are more reactive or react faster than benzene, we will have a negative value and when we have a positive value, that tells us that we are less reactive. So for ring deactivators, we expect to see that the relative enthalpies will be positive numbers, but that positive number will be the smallest for the meta position, which shows that deactivates the ring, but will direct the next substituent to the meta position because that is the most favorable of the positions in that situation. The next deactivating group that we are going to consider is the cyano group. When attached to a benzene ring, we can call this cyanobenzene, but its common name is benzonitril. So we expect with benzonitril that the ring will be deactivated, less favorable than for benzene, and that it will direct the next substituent in, for example, friedel crafts alkylation with a methyl carbocation, preferentially to the meta position. Please see the following figures to show the computed structures for the reactants and the intermediate. The third group we are going to look at is the NO2 group, the nitro group. When attached to the benzene ring, this gives us the compound 
nitrobenzene. The nitro group is one of the most powerfully deactivating groups. So it's going to make the next uh, substitution onto the ring much less likely than would be the case for the same substitution on the benzene ring. And because it is a ring deactivator, it overwhelmingly directs the next substituent to the meta position. Please see the following computed structures of the products and the intermediate for addition at the ortho, meta, and then the para position. The fourth and final deactivating group that we are going to look at in this video is the trifluoromethyl group. We recall that the methyl group, and in fact alkyl groups in general, are mildly activating groups that direct ortho and para. But if we replace one or more of the hydrogens with a very electronegative such as fluorine, this converts it from an activating group to a deactivating group and changes it from being an ortho power director to becoming a meta director. Please see the following figures, which show the results of electronic structure calculations on the parent compound and the various intermediates in the electrophilic aromatic substitution of a methyl group for hydrogen at the ortho, meta, and then para positions. Please see the following tables summarizing the results of electronic structure calculations on these four deactivating meta-directing groups. I thank you again very much for your kind attention. I hope you will like and subscribe. And as always, have a good one.